There's a new raptor to meet over at Islands of Adventure. Orlando's Tron and Hong Kong's Arendelle are coming along. Spaceship Earth is nearly ready to shimmer. Hot butterbeer for the hot sun and a two hour wait for the Magical Express? Well, it is a ride. Join us on Inside 300. Good morning, it is 8 a.m. on the East Coast and it's time for another episode of Inside 300. We're going to Epcot, we're going to Universal, we are going to Magic Kingdom, all within the next 300 seconds. So, without further delay, let's hit it. Getting on your favorite ride often comes with the wait. Theme parks alleviate those wait times by going above and beyond when theming the queue lines within their parks. Unfortunately, when it comes to Disney's Magical Express service, the company can't do much in regards to retheming the bottom level of MCO, Orlando's International Airport. For those unaware, Disney's Magical Express is a complimentary bus service provided to Disney Resort guests traveling to and from Orlando's airport. Unfortunately, the service is set to conclude in 2022, but it's now making headlines for excessive wait times on the ground transportation level of MCO. Reddit user Lunas Garden share this video which showcased a line that would likely make anyone cringe. According to the comments, guests waited in excess of two hours to board their buses. Hey, it wouldn't be an Orlando vacation without standing in line to ride something. At least this ride is more than two minutes long. The icon of my favorite Disney World theme park, Epcot Spaceship Earth, is going under a bit of a transformation. The stunning centerpiece of the experimental prototype community of tomorrow is being spruced up for Disney World's 50th by having points of light at each of the structure's intersecting triangles. If you look closely at these images taken by Inside the Magic, you can now spot the recent additions. You may remember that Disney has projected onto the quote-unquote golf ball numerous times. Mike Wazowski's big old head has made an appearance, along with the Death Star. Now, instead of external lights reflecting off of the building, beautiful lighting can come from within. No word yet on when the lights will make their debut. 2021 will forever be known as the Jurassic Era for Universal Studios. On top of the re-theming of the Jurassic World ride over in Hollywood, Islands of Adventure continues to invest into the land sandwiched between the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Toon Lagoon. Velocicoaster's soft openings have earned rave reviews, and the official debut of Universal's newest attraction is still slated for June the 10th. But now guests have another way to travel back 65 million years. Enter Bravo. Bravo is Universal's newest raptor that guests can uh, be terrified of. Universal tweeted out these three images of the beauty. Bravo joins the famous Blue from the Jurassic World franchise as dinos that you can actually meet at Islands of Adventure. I can't recommend meeting these lovely sweet creatures more. They're one of the best character interactions in a park anywhere, and team members do a tremendous job adding to the slightly uncomfortable experience. Shanghai's Tron Coaster proved to be so successful over in China that Disney decided to duplicate the ride in Orlando ideally in time for Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. The global pandemic threw a wrench into those plans and delayed the opening, but construction has resumed on the ride. In fact, Imagineers have hit another milestone as all of the temporary structures for the outside canopy portion of the ride have been removed. These images, courtesy of at BioReconstruct on Twitter, showcase the new updates. For those unfamiliar with the coaster, the ride launches you from inside the show building at speeds of 59 miles per hour, similar to Rock and Roller Coaster. However, unlike Rockin', guests then find themselves outdoors under a shimmering canopy before heading back in. The Orlando version is set to be a carbon copy of Shanghai's, which features a one-of-a-kind ride vehicle, putting riders on the movie's light cycles. Disney has yet to announce an official opening date or even opening year at this point. It should be mentioned that when discussing priority projects for 2021, Disney did not list Tron. Instead, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and the Harmonious Nighttime Spectacular, both Epcot experiences, were spotlighted. We're not quite at the point where we get to open up the gates over in Hong Kong Disneyland for the new Frozen area, but we are getting close. Twitter user HKDL Fantasy tweeted out these images which showcase Arendelle's mountain range and perhaps Elsa's ice palace. The land will feature at least two exciting attractions, one being an exact replica of Epcot's Frozen Ever After water ride and the 
brand new original roller coaster, Wandering Oaken Sliding Sleighs. Hong Kong Disneyland already has one awesome original coaster that is exclusive to the park. Big Grizzly Mountain Runaway Mine Cars. Say that three times fast. And finally, let's head back to Universal Orlando Resort where it was announced yesterday that hot butter beer would be available year round. The signature Harry Potter themed drink was originally only offered in frozen and cold versions throughout each season, but some people wanted to walk under the sweltering summer sun with a scorching hot beverage. And so, Universal obliged. And that's going to do it for your Inside 300 on this May the 25th. Remember, we're here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. And you still have a chance to win the Dooney and Burke Haunted Mansion bag by visiting InsideTheMagic.com and clicking the Giveaway tab. Go ahead, do it right now. It is free. I'm Brian, and I will see you on the next episode this Thursday.